somebody is about to get a random picture. Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. If you are new, hi my name is Shani. Thank you so much for clicking to watch this video. So in today's video, I'm going to be doing my hair while retouching it curling it a little bit more and then putting rollers back in it so you guys are literally going to be watching me with the rollers in my hair for about 20 minutes so i hope you guys don't mind but i'm going to be doing my hair um my makeup of course and then i might throw on an outfit just to zhuzh up the video a little bit i'm not going anywhere i'm actually just putting a makeup on to film another video so i was like let me sit down and um record me put on makeup i know this is probably not the makeup content that you guys want but this just goes with my life right now and uh, yeah, I hope you guys don't mind. So let's go ahead and get into this video. My hair is already curled because I had rollers in last night, but I just want to put some more curls in it um, and then put rollers in it just to get it out of my way. All right, I'm just going to put some dry shampoo in it. I was looking for some dry shampoo because my hair gets oily so fast and I be trying to get all of the straight hair content out while well, I'm trying to get a lot of straight hair content out before I have my hair curly for the summer because that's how I usually do things. My hair is curly during the warmer months and it's straight during the cooler months. So um, once <laughs> that time of year comes around, which it's starting to get close to that time because I was at the post office the other day and your girl was sweating and I was like, <laughs> where are the braids okay where are the braids where's the curly fro um because the straight hair is not working and then i'm trying to be in the gym as well i was just like oh my gosh i gotta hurry up and get this content out and i'm low-key a perfectionist and i keep having to refilm videos so yeah what was the point of me talking about this oh my hair keeps getting oily too fast so that's why i looked for um something to soak up the oils and this changed my life i don't spray this in my hair every single day but after a week of me having my hair straight it likes to get oily and that's not enough time for me to film all of the content it just be getting oily too fast you know what i'm saying and i usually when i straighten my hair i straighten it once a month i don't like to straighten it twice in one month that's just not heat damage i mean i do have heat damage but i'm not trying to like od on the heat damage to the point where it's breaking off my hair so this dry shampoo really comes through because it literally like soaks up all of the oil and your hair is like flowy again so yeah i love that for me and i'm just like where have i been have y'all always used dry shampoo like has this always been a thing <laughs> i feel like this is more of a y'all know what i'm saying black girls don't be using no dry shampoo i've never met a black girl that used dry shampoo you know what i'm saying so yeah i just wasn't aware that this was like a thing until I started using it so yeah we have the dry shampoo in I just spray it over and then like massage it in and now I'm just going to I left my clips in the bathroom unprepared unprofessional wow this is your job hold on all right I'm back with the hair clips <laughs> and I got those from Amazon they are in my Amazon store so if you guys are interested in it I'll link it down below but yeah I'm just gonna section off my hair oh I do have in clippings by the way if you didn't know these are clip-ins my hair stops to about right here well this is my hair and they're from her given hair if you guys know you know all right so when it comes to curling my hair i like to curl everything away from my face and of course comb it out before you you know curl it so there's not any knots in it but um, I just like to curl everything away from my face. Usually I'm using a flat iron, which I have the flat iron right here, just, just in case. It's an oldie, 
the recent job done is very old. But I seen a hairstylist use this and I was like, um, I think I need it. <laughs> I feel like it takes me a little longer when it comes to using a curling iron to curl my hair, but I'm just trying out new things when it comes to <laughs> curling my hair. <laughs> polish it helps with the hold and it doesn't make my hair revert and then move on to this side I kind of feel like I should go ahead and put the rollers in oh and the finishing holding spray doesn't make it super hard but you do notice that it gets a little hard I'm pretty sure there's an easy way to do this where you just pin the curls but I don't have any pins so foam rollers it is and these are so like, I remember my mom doing my hair with these when I was younger. <laughs> so they're kind of like, what's the word, Nostal nostalgic? And I did buy some satin rollers because I know, I don't know what video it was I was talking about satin rollers because I feel like the foam rollers be snagging my hair. But I did buy some satin rollers. It's probably gonna be in my Amazon. All video. Because I know last time I did a get rid of with me, you guys were like, can you scoot up closer? So here I am, a little bit closer. Hopefully this is cool. All right, so I'm just brushing my brows into place. As you guys can see, 
and um, I did do my skincare routine and everything you want to make sure you start off with whoa you want to make sure you start off with a clean base a moisturized base you want to make sure you do your skincare and prep your skin put sunscreen on if you're going outside all of that good stuff because the makeup is going to reflect what you do to your skin so skincare is very important I know in my older videos I never really used to talk about skincare but I always wanted my skin to be clear because I knew if my skin was looking crazy, my makeup was going to look crazy. But let me do my brows right now because I'm getting ahead of myself. So show some love to your skin first and then go in with your makeup. And I promise you, your makeup is going to look way better when your skin looks better or when you're taking care of your skin. Alright, so I'm just brushing some product through my brow. Nothing too serious. Now I'm taking a the Too Faced concealer in chestnut and I'm going to carve out my brows. This is another step where I would recommend having your brows already cleaned up so that you know where to put the products so it's just easier for you to do your brows. I know it's probably easy for me to say that because I've been doing this for forever and I know how I like my brows to look but the biggest tip that I can give you is to clean up your brows because if you have hair it's just if your brows are just you know not done it makes it harder for you to do your brows and if you're going to somebody to get your makeup done it just makes it harder for them as well you get me so you always want to make sure you you know clean up your brows you don't even have to go get your brows done just clean them up if you don't know how to do them I would try to find somebody that does brows really good because you don't want nobody to mess up your brow shape but if you do like your brows to be uncut because I do like an uncut brow look like just a natural brow I do like that look as well it just depends all around it just depends on what you're doing you know so yeah now I'm just gonna pick up the rest and prime or just blink out the color of my eyelid this is really not what I was trying to do <laughs> well, I was really just trying to do something very simple now I'm taking the Sasha buttercup setting powder to set my eyelids well to set the concealer on my eyelids so that it doesn't move and I don't know what brush this is but I'll try to find it and link it down below for you guys all right now I'm taking this morphe palette this is the fierce by nature palette and I got the wrong brush in my hand <laughs> all right so I'm gonna take this color down at the bottom this one right here and I'm just going to use that as a transition I'm going to start on the outer corner and just blend it inward and everything is a circular motion and I'm just tapping that same color on my outer corner just to deepen it up a little bit. Add some dimension. Y'all know me. <gasps> no, no. Now I'm just taking this dark brown to deepen up my outer corner a little bit more. Same brush. And I'm kind of just like tapping it on and then blending it like this motion back and forth to blend it in so I like, tap it flat and then just blend it in like a zigzag motion to feather it inward all right so I'm gonna take this color right here and I place it on my eyelid with a another fluffy brush just to like reinforce that color and bring back out the eyelid with the sunlight oh yeah that's cool 
All right, now I'm going to put on a little bit of eyeliner, and this is the LA Girl Shockwave Neon Eyeliner in Black. I'm just going to run it across my lash line. And I also like to thicken up the outer corner of my liner. And it just gives the eye a very, you know, effect. And then once you place your eyelash on it, it just, it just hits different, you know? And if the eyeliner does start to skip because the eyelid skin is kind of loose, you can always take like a brush and smooth it out and then that's kind of like smoking out your eyeliner but it helps when when it comes to like pencil liner like this and it just makes everything look softer all right eyeliner is pretty much done now it's time for lashes the glue that i'm using is this duo glue right here this is like the only one that I use. I always like to start by like measuring, especially if they're a new pair, I like to start off by measuring the lash and if it hangs off too much, I snip it off from the outside. Um, I never snip from the inside because then you're gonna change the shape of the eyelash and it just looks weird. So always snip your lashes or trim your lashes, not even trim because when I say trim, you you guys might like actually trim the lash. No, do not do that. Because then the lash is going to be blunt. So always trim from the outer corner of the lash. So I'll just put the lash glue on the lash band. Set it to the side. Get the other lash. And then these are the ends of the lashes that I cut off. And I also want to place some of these on the lash so so i'm gonna take this little cluster so i'm gonna take this little cluster put some glue on it and also place that on the lash after i put it on all right I always start by like tilting the lash up and then placing it down and then I take some tweezers and I stick the front part on it and then once all of that is done then you can like press it or push it on your eyelid a little bit more then I'm gonna take these individual lashes and then place it at the edge just to give it like oh no just give it, just to give it some flair all right i'm just gonna stick it there and then once it like dries down then i'll be able to move it All right, so this is how the lashes are looking up close. Um, yeah, now I'm just squeezing them together so they don't move and that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go back over the um, lash line to camouflage the glue with um, a black eyeshadow, but we're moving on to the face now. Still using this bottle of Fenty. And so it's called, this is the soft matte primer. Like I said, I already like prepped and primed my face. I already put moisturizer on. If you are dry and or oily, you definitely want to moisturize your face. I know some people that are oily don't like to use a moisturizer, but even if you are oily, you need to use a moisturizer. And not using lotion or moisturizer on your face is probably part of the reason why 
your face is producing more oils because you're technically drying it out. So now it's over producing and overcompensating for the fact that for the fact that it isn't getting the moisturizer that it needs. So make sure you moisturize your face. Alright, we are primed and I feel like every time I put this primer on, I feel like it low-key gives a cast. Where am I tripping? Now I'm about to do something very different. I'm about to powder my face before I go in with my foundation. Because I always see Jackie Aina do this and I'm just like, I don't know about that sis. <laughs> But I'm just gonna put a little bit. I'm not gonna commit to it fully. I just wanna see. I wanna see something. <laughs> All right, so I'm just gonna put some concealer under my eyes and then come back to it. I'm kind of just doing my, I'm doing everything at one time, if that makes sense. I know when I am doing my makeup to go somewhere, I put everything on right then and there. This is the Juvia's Place con not concealer, the <laughs> Juvia's Place um, foundation stick. Now I'm taking this KVD Good Apple Cream Foundation, and I'm gonna place this in the areas where I usually contour. Oh, can y'all see that? I don't know if y'all can see that. All right, and I'm just gonna take. A BB blender and blend everything out. I'm also going to put some of this to the beauty foundation on. So I use it sparingly, not really as an all over foundation. I just really like how it looks on the skin. So I'm just using it for the texture, if that makes sense. This really just turned into a whole makeup session, which I was, I really wasn't trying to do that, but here we are. Now I'm gonna go in and set my under eyes with the Sasha Buttercup setting powder. Now I'm taking Coco from Too Faced to set the rest of the face. Really, how did this turn into a whole full face? Sitting down to film this was a trap. Because every time I do that, it turns into a whole full coverage, sculpted <laughs> video. It's okay. Taking Penny For You Thoughts, and this is my blush and my highlighter. I just really like how it looks. As both, like. It's that little gleam right there, you know? And then it has color to it, which makes it look so skin-like, you know? Of course, we can't forget the nose. Now I'm just putting a little bit of rose quartz on from CoverGirl. Alright, so to line my lips, I'm just taking the Good Apple Cream Foundation in 098. And I'm just going to take this blending brush and... And then I'm just taking Super Natural from Revlon. And I'm just 
going to put it right here in the center. All right, now I'm just going back on my lash line with a black eyeshadow. And I'm just tapping it on it just to camouflage the um, dried glue. And I would recommend tapping it on because you don't want to get all of this black eyeshadow on your lower lash line. I don't want to have any fallout, so I'm pressing it on my lash line. I'm going to spray some setting spray. And we are done. Well, not really, but we're done with makeup <laughs> after this part. I think. I was really trying not to get my hair wet. Fail. Alright you guys, so I'm back like hours later. Um, I was really trying to find something to wear. And it was just a struggle because honestly, I don't feel comfortable in anything. <laughs> oh my gosh. So, I was just trying to figure out what to put on. But like I said, I'm not even going anywhere. I can't really tell how these curls came out. I think they came out good. I think they came out good. Yeah. Oh, I also sprayed some... Um, perfume on but I also put my loose highlighter in it so I'm all shimmery and I like it I feel like my boobs are just in the camera but what can I do they're not going anywhere <laughs> uh, I feel like there's a dent in it <gasps> wait I think I did something Why am I not going to dinner right now? Please help me understand where my husband is right now because where is he at? <laughs> Let me stop. But no, this look came out so, wow. Curling it and then putting rollers in it was probably like the best thing I could have did. Wow. Somebody is about to get a random picture because <laughs> where am I going? All right, y'all, I hope everything is focused. This is my first time doing this, but the top is from, actually, this is a whole body shaper from Spanx. The bottoms are from Misguided, and I had to fold them up a little bit because, personally, I don't like a lot of gapping right here, so I like to pull all of my pants up. The torso is kind of long on these pants, but the pants are short, like the actual leg part. It is pretty short and I'm 5'10 by the way. The shoes are from Shoe Department. I got them out of town one weekend when I went to my best friend's birthday dinner. And then this mini wallet bag is from Fashion Nova, but there is a designer version that I've seen um, and I'll link that down below too, but this is from um, Fashion Nova. But yeah, this is the outfit. My hair is kind of falling a little bit because I'm perspirating a little bit, but yeah, this is the outfit. I really like how it came out. It's super cute and simple. I will wear this on a date night. Honestly, you can wear this on a girls' night out too. All right, you guys, so this is the finished look. I really hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really don't know what I was talking about in this video at all. I feel like it was honestly all over the place. Hopefully it wasn't, but if it is, I will try to edit it to make sure it flows. But yeah, I really hope you guys enjoyed this look, enjoyed the video, enjoyed the hair part of the video. And hopefully the outfit part, I will link everything down below. If I miss anything, just let me know. If you have questions about anything, just let me know and I will get back to you. Don't forget to like this video, comment down below, and just show me some love and interact with the video because that lets you too know that you guys like my video and it just spits it out to more people and gets more 
eyes on my video so yeah if you like this video be sure to like it comment down below and um, subscribe and I will see you guys in my next video